Shema Israel Adonai Lohanu Adonai Chad after the call of Baba Kabe Kol Nafshe Kabe Kol Me Odeka. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you must love the Lord with all your heart, with all your strength, and with all your mind. My name is Rabbi Humphrey, and I welcome you to this exclusive interview with the Young Adult Fellowship, an executive that I have in the studio, and uh, we're going to have a wonderful time, and I believe that you're going to learn a lot. You know, PCG um, TV, we are trying as much as possible to get you all the right informations when it comes to um, the generational groups. And um, it will help you to know more about the church so that you can get involved. And today in the studio, I have um, on set uh, Mr. Solomon J. Mensa, uh, who happens to be the National General Secretary of YAF. And we're going to have a wonderful um, discussion. Um, definitely, this YAF week is a week that... Uh, we're going to celebrate a lot of activities, a lot of things, and we're going to expose it, get to know what is going to happen within the week so that you can involve yourself um, to it. Um, even with that, I'll take this opportunity also to let Reese Congregation um, at Racecourse um, get to know that the Yafuk celebration, myself, I happen to be the main speaker of the revival and climaxing on a Sunday um, for the Yafuk celebration is going to be awesome. The power of God is going to move. Miracles are going to happen. There are a lot of deep teachings that we're going to um, get into so that it will help. But don't go anywhere. Just stick around with me. After this break, I'm in the studio with Mr. Solomon A.J. Mensa. Well, folks, you are welcome um, right back into the studios of PCG TV. And just as I said, I'm in here with Mr. Solomon A.J. Mensa, who happens to be the National Secretary of YAF. And we're going to have a wonderful discussion. Sir, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Brother. I hope you're fine. Being pretty good, sir. Thank God so much. Um, when I'm speaking with YAF people, I know that I, I have a solid ground that I'm sitting on to be able to speak with you. Sure, uh, the sure. Working, the working class of the church, the, the, the movers and the shakers of the church. Let me put it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, the sure. movers and the shakers of, of the church. For the benefit of those who are actually not very conversant with the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, when we talk about the YAF, what is this group all about? Yeah. Thank you so much. The YAF, as the Young Adult Fellowship in the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, um, is a group that we say is the younger group talking about the generational group in the church. And the creation of this group came up. That was in the year 20, 2005, where the leaders of the church saw the importance of creating a group between the YPG and the Women Fellowship and the Men Fellowship. We realized that the gap from 35 to 40, or from 30, that gap was so wide. And so it came up as a decision during the General Assembly 2020, 2005 that they took a decision that a group should be created in a church. And we set up a committee that was 2006. And that committee was to go and look at the modalities in order to create this group for yeah. the young adults. Yeah. And I remember in the history of YAF, um, the committee members was the then, the late Reverend Emmanuel Tequete, who was the national clan director. Um, Papa was the convener or the committee chair, and our current moderator, the Right Reverend Abraham Nana Oparekwachi, also a member of the committee. Reverend Ni Anane, Reverend George Ezekiel Labi, and other committee members, that is nine member committee, were set up to look into the modalities of how to create this young adult group. And so the proposal among the Proposals the committee brought to the General Assembly Council 
that is 2006. Amongst them was that the age bracket should be from 30 to 40. Then the name should be the Young Adult Fellowship, not the Young Adult Group. Then 2006, all the prejudices should set up or should be, the, the group should be in operations. And then the group should be an operational in all the four levels of the church. Talking about the four levels, we are talking about the congregation, we are talking about the district, talking about the poetry and the national. So these were among some of the proposals the committee presented before the GAC. And the GAC accepted it, and then it proceeded further. And so actually, during the year 20, 2020, 2007, that was where all the prejudices had started operationalizing mm -hmm. okay the operation has already what started okay. and so as we speak now 20, from 20 2007 to now the group is 17 years wow ah. in the of God. wow and so from there the group the committee tried to get a, com a constitution for the group and so now the group have a com constitution and the constitution was drafted from the then YPG constitution, the manner of order of PCG, the constitution of PCG. You know, the group is owned by the church. And you cannot do anything, anything. aside the constitution of the PCG and the manner of order. It should be in line. And so through these materials, they drafted the constitution for the group. And also in the constitution, you can have the government. The government, we're talking about the four levels that is a group have to operate in all the four levels the congregation the district the poetry and the national then we come to the government the governance structure the governance structure that is the highest decision making body mm -hmm. of the group is the gen the national assembly for the fellowship then we come to the national executive council as the neck then later we come to the national officers that is the national executive. Then we come to uh, the priority congresses, the priority council. They come to priority officers. Then we go to the district conferences, the district peg and uh, deck. That is the district executive council. Then we come to the congregation. That is the branch general meetings and then the branch secretariat. So, in a summary, this is all about the young adult fellowship. Then we have an objective. The objective is that to promote evangelism among the young adults. That is the motive that we have to assist the church to promote evangelism, to win more souls for the church. The church can only grow. The church can only push, push forward by growing in terms of membership. So we have to win more souls as the energetic and good people as young adults. Then also build the spiritual, moral, and the social life of our members. And that is why we have materials like the YAV guide. That the YAV guide contains the spiritual, we talk about the spiritual background of the individual. We talk about the character study, the human, talk about the Bible and homosexuality. Some issues that has been a general issue for the country and the whole world. We try to capture it all in our YAV guide to help to assist members to be well equipped spiritually, physically, and be able to move forward as members of the church to help to grow the PCG. So that means that automatically, just like the other generational groups, you grow into it. Um, so once you are from YPG, um, the expectation is that you find yourself falling into the YAV group yeah. because um, you get to 30 years, you have to move from YPG into um, YAV. Yeah. Um, what happens if you find people within the church who are within the 30 years to 40 years bracket and they are not joining the YAV group. What, what, what happens? What do you do? Yes. And that is one thing as members of PCG we need to understand, particularly those that fall within the age of 30 to 40. Joining YAV or, or any of the generational group is not optional, but is, it is mandatory or compulsory for a church member to join any of the YAV any of the generational group. So for instance, YAF, 
It's not optional for me to fall in within the age of 30 to 40. It's not optional for me to me pan a me. Who, who join it? No, it is mandatory and compulsory for me as a church member falling within that age to join the generational group. Help the generational group to be active and grow. As the generational group grows or intergenerational group grows, it helps the son, the church or the PCG to grow and grow widely. So if you see any member portraying that character, we consider it as something not right, but we try to speak to our members. We try to talk to church members who fall within that age group. That maybe sometimes it's a matter of they don't know and not understanding some facts about the church and some facts about what they are expected to do. So it's a matter of we encouraging them, speaking to them. Now you're more wanting, you may be as who are crying now or quite sorry, but one tick PCG. And she and I say, that's true. She and I say, and who to me, I ye, no, ye, ye, I might to me, I wa. Just as you're saying, uh, and that's, that's what we try to uncover with some of these interviews. Uh, we do a lot of generational group interviews, exclusive interviews here, and you realize that um, some of the things that the leaders talk about, even some normal church members don't even know. Um, you see, the YAF is a working class, and sometimes even people getting time for meetings and all that, uh, some are, it's a challenge. If it happens like that, even though I fall within the age bracket, but probably within my local, I'm not able to come to meetings. What happens with that? Yeah. Good. Uh, in that situation, such people, you can't force them or you can't do anything other to take, just to take their name from the group or any other. But such people, you have a, a, some, a role or a, a way of handling them. Because such people, that is the nature of their work. And so we need to try to apportion the time to where it will favor them. But when it comes to the cities like this, yeah. there are so many people with different nature of work. Yes. But you need to understand your people and know how you will be able to handle them. So in that situation, that's why I can say that let's know, uh, understand our people. Okay. Know them. Mm -hmm. and know how we will be able to work things around them. Mm -hmm. And then know how, when to apportion at meeting time, when to uh, organize programs that will suit them. Because such people, you can't ignore them. There are some people, due to the nature of their work, it's hardly to see them on Saturday during service. Yes. And for such people, they are. But you need to know how to put things in place and try to bring them on board. Sometimes you can hold meetings on Zoom. Mm -hmm. With this, our current work. Well, yes. On Zoom, in order to also accommodate such people. Though in the, it, they will be in the house, there might be some challenges. But holding it on Zoom for some time now will let them have interest and then try also to also apportion them time, their time and also know when to also come for one-on-one -on -one meeting or fiscal meetings. So I think it's as by and by as we try to know how to apportion the time, to our meeting times and the nature of programs and other, how to handle these members, we'll be able to catch up with all. That's great. Um, I think um, uh, we are really enjoying this interview. I'm, I particularly, I'm, I'm really getting a lot of understanding about it. But when we are, we are back from this commercial break, uh, we'll get into the YAF week before we get into the impacts, the benefits, the kind of things that um, we're getting or we can get as members of YAF. So don't go anywhere, just stick around with me. We'll be right back. Well, folks, you're welcome back. This is PCG TV. My name is Rabbi Humphrey, and I have in the studios with me today um, Mr. Solomon J. Mensah, who happens to be the General Secretary, um, National General Secretary of the Young Adult Fellowship, and he's really educating us about IAF, you know, taking us into the origin, the things that we need to know, the setup and the structure. I think I've learned a lot. So just follow suit and we'll learn more. But we're getting into the Yafu celebration so that we understand what the week is all about. Sir, um, 
let's get into the YAF Week celebration. Um, or the YAF Week celebration. Sure. Sure. Thank you very much. Um, for the young adults, we have an, that is an annual program that we organize okay. at a congregational level. Yeah. All congregations. So, the, during the week celebration, there are a lot of programs that we involve ourselves that will be a beneficiary to every individual in PCG, every individual as a group member, and then the entire church to also benefit from that. And we thank God that this year, YAF Week is happening from the 22nd to 28th of this month. So we are starting the launching on this coming Sunday, that is 21st of April, 2024. Then the ministers will launch it at all various corrugations. And during the lunch, we are putting on our official uniform, that is the brown cloth, with our various sashes, put our sash on, and then the ministers will lead in launching the half week. Then on Monday, there will be an exposition on the theme. And what is the theme for the celebration? The theme is that Jesus Christ, the Alpha and the Omega, possessing the unknown feature as the young adult, taking the uh, Bible text from Revelation 21, verse 6, and then Daniel 6, verse 16 to 26. And that is where the ministers are going to lead the exposition, going to speak about the exposition for us to know much about this theme and be able to move ahead as we we go move ahead with this particular year, 2024, and in the years ahead. Then on Tuesday, we, are going, we have on, the, on our schedules, it is local activities. In our various congregations, branches, the locals should also have a particular program or activity or event that they wish to organize within their locals. So that is why we have indicated the local activities. So in the event that the congregational JAF think is so educative and so prudent, so important, will help the YAF members, will help the congregation and the beneficiary to PCG as a whole, they need to organize it on that Tuesday. Yes. And then on Wednesday, visit to the schools, visit to the aged and the disabled. So it's unfortunate though, schools, the primary schools or the basic schools are on holidays. But there are some corrugation districts and privateries that are ne discussing with the head teachers and the teachers who are in their various corrugations and around to uh, donate some quantities of exercise branded with the YAF logo and the PCG logo. Quantity, much quantity of them present to these school children. So the head teachers or the teachers will organize some few school uh, people, uh, learners come to the church auditorium or meet at a particular point. Then and a donation will be done. These size books to them. Or then some congregation will also do a donation to the children's service, to the JY and other people. Then we also have to visit in a congregation. There are some aged who are unable to do other things who need some assistance, terms of monetary issues and other things. So we identify them, we go there to their various houses and try to do donate something small that will assist their living as a church and as a member. Then the disabled. And yet then various congregations or districts, you will disable CB or your congregation. What are we doing to assist them? Oh, we hear more. Is it a wheelchair or any working stick or any other things? Yeah. We try to identify it and then we get them, we go to them and we donate to them. Yeah. As when it comes to communion service, the ministers go to these people and then give them communion. We are also trying to do this and do the same thing. Then on Thursday, that is intergroup activities. Yeah, we invite the Women Fellowship, Men Fellowship, YPG, and other intergenerational groups on that day. Have a program with them. What are some of the programs that we can have with the Women Fellowship, YPG, the Single Man or Choir? We try to 
bring them together and we all have an activity that will be an educative and more beneficial to us as members of that congregation. Then on Friday, that is local activity. Any other local activity that the local see it necessary to organize, they organize it on Friday. Then on Saturday, visit to the drug addicts and then donations. In some territories, like Asante Priority for instance, they normally go to some of the prisons to do some donation and some priority also what do. So as and when we think together, see some items that are needed to donate to these uh, brothers and our sisters who are in the prisons, who are in other places, we try to find them and go to their various places and donate to them. The drug addict, our sisters and our brothers, in our various communities, in our various environments, are into this. And it's very sudden that seeing your brother, your schoolmate, or somebody that you know into that situation. So we are all praying. physically, it is a friend that is peer pressure that initiated them or just involve them into that. So we try to go to them, talk to them, and try to, even if it comes that, we have to send them to a rehabilitation center. Kind of yeah. We try to what? Do them. Yeah, 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 mandate, say, yeah, we need souls. I'm a Christ, said the young adult, no. These are all ways of what? Winning souls, that's true. For the church, and assisting the church to grow and grow well. Yes. So that is all about the half week. And then on the Sunday, we come together, putting on our half white cloth with our such as the officers. And then we all give thanks. The Lord has been good to us. A radia yebi, a fee na yaf, at least 17 years. In the creation way back, I said, General Assembly, a take a decision in 2005. Your baby, this is time, you know. 17 years. And this year we are going to also have our 17th National Assembly. That is coming off 19th to 22nd September 2004. And that will be at the venue is Acropon PTC. That is Acropon College of Education in the Equipping Prairie. And that is where we all come together. All the various prairies. What they did in the previous year, that is 2023. They bring all their reports. We all think to uh, sit together in a group workshop. You try to digest all these reports, know the challenges they are facing in their various priorities, and then we try to what take decisions that will help us. And these are some of the decisions that are very key that we are still pers persisting on, or we are still pushing. That one of our decisions in the previous assembly was that we are going to have Yav Day with JY. And now that has been our very focus. We have seen that the JY from within that age bracket are very vulnerable yeah. when it comes to the negative issues mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. in, a, in our country. So you're going to have a YAV day with JY? Yes. That YAV day with JY was a decision we took in our assembly, mm -hmm. that is the 2001, mm -hmm. that we are going to assist our younger ones okay. to have a service with them. Know their needs that will assist them to be able to worship during their service. That's Present them a, a television set, exercise books, other reading manuals, and other things. Then you have the children's service. We also organize it every year in October. So we select the prayer tree. The prayer tree president will also fall on the district president to know the kind of congregation we are supporting. We normally don't do it in the cities. You go to the we are areas to be able to do talents. They need the assistance more. And then we provide them, not what we want to give them, but what they need as JWAS members in that local, as children's service in that local. So they give us what they need. We budget it about 5,000. We get the items, we go and we present to them. And our national president, Dr. Philip, who can come is doing marvelously well, going to these territories himself, will go to the villages and do the presentation to them. 
These that that is that is a beautiful a beautiful um, package for the week. Um, now watching the movie today, any any of my people will be. But the the image then is more donations be brew. Yeah, for most car. Namia Shiramu. Namia Shiramu pa. Yeah, because um, and and that is good. That is good. Even my week, no. And yes, be a more. More, more to seek a good, but you are you are impacting lives. Sure. Even not surely to catch you, so this week celebration, myself, the national president, Dr. Philip, can come. We are going to the Secretary Thursday evening, taking a bus to the Secretary. We are going there. I will take about six uh, districts, and he will take about six districts. We divide ourselves and we meet them. The YAF members during their meetings, during the YAF week celebration. Be with them. Sometimes they need our presence. Yeah. At the congregational level, at the villages or yeah. at the interland, they need our presence. We go, we advise them, and then we encourage them to do more. Yeah. That what they are doing, Omunye being come. It's as a radia was and a yenya and all this world to do more in his kingdom. And so we are going there as part of the celebration. Together, uh, the, that is the constitutional mandate for the national president. And me, the general secretary, I'm escorting him to the territory to try to do that to the glory of God. Great. Um, well, folks, we, we would like to take a quick commercial break here. Yeah, from Komonaide. 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 Yamin Shira committee now, it's now 17 years ago, or with me a ticky decision to just make sure that this young adult fellowship stands. Ah, it may be a 17 years, I'll be seeing. Um, you're dying, Hwaba. When we, we come back, we're just going to climax this whole interview. So stay glued to your set. Don't go anywhere. Well, folks, you're welcome back. This is PCG TV. My name is Rabbi Humphrey. As usual, we are actually having a, a very wonderful um, discourse. And, um, you know, um, YAF week. So we have in the studios uh, Mr. Solomon, a J. Mensa, who happens to be the National General Secretary of YAF. And he's really enlightened us. If you just tuned in, um, then you're welcome to PCG TV. So we're actually climaxing the interview, but you, you will get to learn something within this brief minute. Sir, um, you have four. Who would have been a smooska? Namia Shram. Eden and Munyas are tagging. Eden, then, then, see you into a Munyas are tagging. You, Papa, made a civil bray. Um, a tag, no age, shrouding and cup on the armor, you have four. Say Nipa to one Nipa Eka, say who was cut and now who pig out to a high level. Yes, also a gentleman, yes, yeah, because as a period, you know, a period within the age period, who be a age, Juma, most if you take ten about nine or eight are working, and so because people are most of the members are working, we get money, different kinds of work. And all kinds of nature of work, and so we are we were we are able to do more when it comes to supporting the church, the group, other people, individuals with finances. Yes, and so it's because we are in the working class, and that's why Omoka as our seminar say and our members say can say yeah for a day a week. And on Kwa my eighteen month year day say you week a week a na a a a a a a can a a keke. And on Tina we try to take some role in the church development. Recently, yes, we thank God that uh, YAF have been co-opted into the General Assembly Council. And then recently, the last General Assembly Council, the national president, Dr. Philip, can come together with the woman, National Women Commissioner, Sister Sally. And they were at the uh, GAC, GAC. And in a moratorium forum that is early February this year, uh, when we went for the program, the groups, the generational groups and other groups were taxed 
to finish a room in the PCG Hospitality Center in the Ramsey Training Institute. When we came, we sat, we think through, and we realized that that is a good thing for us as a fellowship to do. Mm. So quickly, the amount was around 25,000. So quickly, we organized ourselves. So during the meeting, their last, last uh, meeting, GAC, the national president presented a check of 25,000 to the council that Jav as a young adult fellowship, the working class, you know, the year, year, the abwa, the hospitality center, so yeah, finish it one standard room, and the abwa, the development of PCG. And so, and yes, I can say, yeah, my mom for can say, I can say, but we are trying to make impact in a church. They're making impact in a church. We're also trying to win souls through building pavilions. Yes, we build one national pavilion at in a uh, cooperative. We see, we see. And now we are building a, another national is building another pavilion. pavilion. Okay. The Padestrate Amakrom preaching point. That is the project is ongoing. We are about we we are praying to God that we commission it coming next month. And we are other prejudices, the districts, the congregations are doing much most of them are doing as much as eight pavilions. They are building in various congregations, all in the name of God, and then try to push the Roots of PCG on high. Yeah. Rain more so because one, you can now school them. encourage you. But Bana was sorry, then baby come out. Oh, yeah. And yeah, dear son, but also, ma, a bebois, then he and oba. And that is what one thing we are doing in the move with Scam with Ghana. A man for what? Oh, be a canon. That we are doing in support of that. Yes. yes. And one thing we cannot forget and we always remember is our heroes in Yaf. We mostly say our heroes in Yaf. And who are our heroes in Yaf? They are the first leaders or our previous leaders. Starting from the first president, who is now the general uh, chaplain general for the Young Adults Fellowship National. That's the Reverend Doctor. Bernard Kufia Dinkra, who is also the current poetry clerk for the West Action Poetry, was the first president coming to the uh, Mr. Uh, Franklin, also answer, then Dr. Ofori Buadu, then uh, the late Stephen Enim and the team, then Dr. Henry Inchikwai Abua, then Dr. Nano, and we the current executives. The uh, officers has been a hero because they set a good platform. They, they try to do other good things to establish it. And that is why we are also building upon that up to, up to this level. Because they did it and did it very well. And we are trying to also improve upon what they have done. And they are the heroes of Yav. And so we salute them and we say, may God bless them for the past executive, the past next council, other court councils, and then our present council members, that next members, the various territory president, they are doing marvelously well. And then our national officers, from Dr. Kankam to our national organizer, all the national officers, they are doing their very best. That's great. So we thank them so much. May God continue to give them the knowledge, the strength, and the power to do more. Then, we also want to thank our national clan director, the Reverend Bosman. Reverend Bosman is doing very well. Also, our previous uh, clan director, Mama Esther. Mama Esther was very supportive. And now, Reverend Bosman is also helpful, advising us, encouraging us, and so his words of advice and encouragement is pushing us. Papa, Papa Joseph. And our special appreciation to the, to the moderator of PCG, the right Reverend Dr. Abraham Nana Opare Kwache. Papa has been a very instrumental to all the generational groups. Remember, I said in the history, 
that he was a part of the committee. Of yeah. The committee. Yeah. A implementation committee. He was a member. And they are the pivotal, they play a very pivotal role in the establishment of YAF in PCG. You see, me God bless Papa Moderator to be able to do more than exploit the visions and all kinds of ideas that he has. We've got to assist him to be able to do the clerk of general assembly and all ministers, all chairpersons of the various parishes, and all ministers, they are doing very marvelous work at the various congregations. I saw one of the kids, I saw one of my mom, I saw one of my mom, and 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 I saw one of my Going to the North America, NAP, and all kinds, all the prayers. Jav members, various congregations, they are doing massively well. We say, God bless them, give them the strength, the courage, and all kinds of attitude to be able to carry on. In him say, a Jumaya, and yen, and you bring him work at ya, a Kitiano, a whole China, and a Dutch, and my. You know, I say, PCG, and you may now say, Yen come for Yanko Pong. Ne juma ye 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 nina ano de chile se ye kamfo ye radike se ye ene diye awom emanema. So we thank them so much. Well, um, ya min shira wo pa 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 wo juma mo ye. And thank you so much for coming and for enlightening us. I I I believe se um, this YAF week is going to be a special one. And then um, PCG TV, we are going to be committed to be following uh, the things of YAF. And um, se se ya bane atina si ye 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 ni bi dimochi. Intimisho, manisi uso. Tell doctor can come that yebe yebeba na monso mo timi yebe 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 follow mo pa na yedi mo chini interviews bibri bibi. Engaging with the groups and other generational groups will be more interesting. Even those who are not in PCG watching it will be able to encourage them to build. And I think a year regular yebe boa and. And the good thing that you are doing, uh, PCG TV, money uh, budget be, na money share. The amount you bet me, I have the support of PCG TV. So nebe ya, yes, you be, yes, you be doing much more. Nebe be at me a concern. Ye wo, ye wo ni ama be bring. Ye wo, ye wo ni ama be bring. I pass ye ye de boamu. Inti no. In me, I'm a person. Yeah, national assemblies and other programs. You want to come, so take the coverage, but then. Um, all boils down to how the negotiations and other things will go. Oh, and so, Miss Minshu, Muni Haukra, Muni Haukra, Muni Haukra, because we want more, no, we are more here, and we will definitely try as much as possible to be able to get in. The, the next time that we yeah, yeah, discussion the ends here, yeah. The next time that we get into another discussion, we'll get into some of the details and the issues of. Um, YAF and all those things. Yabeka uh, YAF organization uh, and, and some Yabeka and Tomahu and some Yabeka and you might be bringing and those yeah, stars. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Now, Mr. Now, all too soon we come to the end of this interview. You know, when it comes to YAF, we find it difficult even to conclude because there are a lot of things. You know, everybody in the studio right now falls in the YAF bracket. So uh, we've had a wonderful time on Z today. And God bless all the YAF executives. Mo Bejuma, na mi shramo. Doctor Philip can come any team. Mo Bejuma, na mi un shramo pa. And na mi shramo ubi biyanswa oche. Keep on praying for PCG. Keep on praying for the moderator and the clerk. Keep on praying for the YAF group. And also keep on praying for PCG TV, so that we will keep on bringing the best content that you will need. Na mi shramo. Until same time next time. We are going to meet here again. My name is Rabbi Humphrey. Later out, it's bye for now.